Hi, this video demonstrates the component display option in Cadence. In many designs, uh, we need to know whether the MOSFET are in saturation, what is the GM of the MOSFET, what is the saturation, what is the current flow in through it. Uh, in every design, especially in amplifier design, we have to make sure that all the MOSFET are in saturation. So how will we do that? So uh, we can adjust the W by L ratio, we have the design equations and by doing that we can adjust the W by L ratio and make all the MOSFETs in saturation. Uh, but to make the design uh, easy, uh, we have this option named you know, component display. Uh, for example, this is a, I just randomly put W by L ratio for these MOSFETs and I just made this as a differential amplifier. Uh, and now I want to know whether what is the current flowing through it and in which op operating region they are. Really I want all of them in saturation. So I am just running the DC operating point and I am just finding the DC operating point. What I did, uh, here I did the DC and check the DC operating point and I, I did the simulation. So after that, uh, here we have six transistors and we have to make sure that all the transistors are in saturation so how we will know that we can go after simulation we can go to result plot and dc operating point and we can click on uh, each mosfet and check its we can see all the parameters beta effective here and uh, cgs we have and the gm we have ID we have. So we can see all the parameters here and the region also we have. So region, it is showing the region 1. Region 1 means region 1 is in uh, linear or triad region. Okay, let's have the regions. In cadence, region 0 means it is in cutoff. Region 1 means it is linear or in, in triad region. Region 2 means saturation. Region 3 is sub threshold and region 4 is baked up. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here the W by L ratio I randomly put uh, I randomly put the W by L ratio of that's all the minimum size. So anyway these are not in uh, saturation. But the issue is that uh, we have to do this for every MOSFET. We have to go to result direct plot now the result put in the DC operating point and do this for every MOSFET. But component display gives us a very simple option. In the screen itself we can see that. Let's, I will demonstrate that. Go to the disc edit component display and uh, okay it's, we need a, the parameter here. Okay. Just let it be. Before closing this, you just select the MOSFET. We selected the NMOS. Just minimize this. Now we have this option. This is the com component display option. So now we can set what are the components that is displayed in the screen itself. Instead of going to the result, some it's, it will be displayed here itself. So here it is L, W, number of fingers, multipliers, it is displayed here. Uh, but we need something more. Something more means we need the operating point. So if we need, we can display ID, VGS, VDS, those things. These are uh, required for the design. So we need ID, uh, VGS, VDS, OK, is fine. But there is a lot of options are there. If you want, we can display the beta effective, uh, CGS, C CGD, everything is there. But uh, more important, we want what? Okay, let's uh, do the GM. We need GM for the design. We need GM. Okay, I selected GM, and we need the operating point region also. Okay, selected the region. Press OK. Now, yeah, now you can see this. We did this, this for NMOS. So every NMOS ID is shown, VGS is shown region is shown. So it is showing that all the re all the NMOSs are in you know, uh, in linear region because region is 1. 
but this to this is a diode connected MOSFET so anyway it is will be in saturation so it is shown the region 2 this also the same current is flowing through this so this also in saturation so I put the IDC is 50 micro now but uh, for the PMOS it is showing nothing so we want to make the compound display for PMOS also so again go to edit component display uh, keep the window open and click the PMOS minimize this yeah here we have uh, compound display for PMOS so uh, what we selected is we can select anything for, for the design point of view we need ID we need uh, we need uh, VGS we need VDS ok let's just deal with VGS and go for GM where is GM here it is and we need the operating point operating digit this is the region press ok go back to the schematic window here it is so it is showing PMOS 0 to gm 2 that means in saturation so in differential amplifier uh, we have to check the input common mode range voltage also that is this DC voltage we will vary and we will find uh, during how much we can vary this DC point and still all the MOSFETs are in saturation so in this library in this video library itself uh, we have designed a lot of differential amplifier so I am just uh, copying one of the different design so based on that design it is uh, W by ratio on keeping length 1 micro W is uh, 84 micro. This is I'm not putting randomly. This is based on one design. So design equations are explained in some other videos. So it, or you can refer any other textbook. I'm just uh, demonstrating the component display option here. This 80 micro length. Okay. This is seven micro. One micro. See, I'm repeating. I'm not putting random values now. It is based on design. Uh, I have explained the design in the video so you can refer any textbooks for that this video I am just demonstrating component display this is main micro micro See, uh, after entering all the design values, it is clear that all the MOSFETs are in region 2. So now it is very clear by looking just to the schematic, we can see that all the MOSFETs are in region 2. Otherwise, we have to go to result, friend, DC operating point, and then we have to check the DC operating point of every MOSFET. So it is making a little bit easy for us to know whether the MOSFET is in saturation or not. It is not just about the region, it is all about the other DC parameters also. So we can see all the DC parameters in the screen itself. Okay, now let's make check uh, how long it will be this MOSFET, how long this will be in saturation. Now or we can just check the input common word range. So we just uh, you know, delete this. But
select plus W I'm just selecting the wire so giving same input to both the MOSFET so that we can check the input common mode range suppose I give 1 volt to the input and then we start with 0.5 volt if the input common mode voltage is 0.5 volt by just running the simulation we can know whether all the MOSFETs are in saturation or not so it is showing this MOSFET is not in saturation ok all the other MOSFETs are in saturation so uh, actually we designed this for input common mode minimum voltage 0.8 and maximum input common mode voltage point, uh, 1.6 so let's check that so, so for input common mode voltage 800 millivolt all the MOSFETs should be in saturation because we designed for that ok uh, yeah for 800 millivolt all the MOSFETs are in saturation the upper threshold the upper input common mode voltage we set it 1.6 volt and save run for 1.6 also all the MOSFETs are in saturation so this is just making the design little bit you know you can save some time by selecting all this suppose we change the input to 1.7 let's see what happens Okay, for 1.7 also all the MOSFETs are in saturation. So 1.7 is also a you know, safe operating point for the uh, MOSFETs. It's all still in saturation for 1.7 also. So this video we demonstrated the component display. It will make the uh, it will enhance the speed of your design. This it will display all the what are the design requirements that you set that will display the schematic window itself and uh, we said especially it will be good for calculate the region id gm otherwise you have to check each and every MOSFET go to the result and print the display no no in the operating region and all so it will make the uh, design little bit easy okay thank you bye